Welcome to Your Prayer Intentions with author Peter and Jimmy. And we welcome your prayers at WQPHradio.org. Oh Mary, send my prayers to heaven. Don't let another day go by. You can ask the Lord to help me. When my cross gets heavy and my soul is dry, Oh, Jesus, hear my cry. Oh, Mary, send my prayers to the sky. Along with all of my intentions, every word takes flight. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Your Prayer Intentions. Today, we'll be praying for... All of your prayer intentions as we continue our Easter season. And I must admit, it's been a tough Lent for me. It's been a tough Easter season for me. It's been, sometimes it's very hard. And it's weeks like this where you see things going on. And that's where you have to have the trust in God where you see things going on internationally, where you have things going on personally, when you have friends who have issues, that all coming out at once. And that's when you have to have the most trust in God. And that's when you call upon him to, as you pray your prayer intentions to him. And as I say this, I want to jump straight to this week's gospel because it's very fitting for the introduction I have. And this is for the fourth Sunday of Easter. And I want to touch on on the gospel here. And this is from the gospel of John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. That's because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know mine and mine know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I will lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice. And there will be one flock and one shepherd. And that's why the Father loves me because I laid down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have the power to lay it down and the power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. And of course, it's a perfect example of Lent and the uh, Easter season and what Christ was going to do at Easter. But a very significant gospel because it also informs the Jews at the time that there are other sheep. The sheep that he will end up leading. And those other sheep are us. And it's just that Christ is telling people right up here that the people who are going to be saved and not just the people you might expect. And there's a lot of that in here, in John's Gospel. Think of the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman, who, you know, people are shocked that he's dealing, spending the time in a Samaritan town. Think of the man born blind, who people over there, was it their son's sin or the parents' sin who caused him to be blind? Again, not what people were expecting. But Jesus saying bluntly, I am the shepherd. Follow my voice and I'll lead you to pasture. And when you have times that are tough, when you have things that are tough, when it looks like everything is collapsing around you, that's really what has to be done. You have to listen to the voice of Christ and follow it. You have to trust Christ. And just follow that voice. And remember his, uh, his admonition about taking care of today's problems today. 
and worrying about tomorrow's problems tomorrow. And be grateful for the daily bread you have. It's all vital things, all vital lessons in unsure times. We don't know what's coming up. Of course, we never really know what's coming up. We think we know. But that's not the way the world works. But no matter how the world decides to work, Christ works his way. And the way of Christ is the way, the truth, and the light. And if we follow the voice of our good shepherd, we will be safe as his sheep. And that's really what it comes down to. And when people realize that, if you look at the world, if you look at what's happened in the country, the primary cause of what we've seen has been the walking away from Christianity, the walking away from Christ. The farther you walk away from Christ, the farther you get into the world. And don't forget who the prince of the world is. And that's just simple common sense. You walk away from Christ, you walk into the world, you walk into the domain of the enemy. And this is something that's just very critical to remember. So let's keep that in mind as we look at this. Now I have one final interview left from the Catholic Men's Conference. And this is Father Anthony of St. Benedict's Abbey. And we're going to be our last interview from the um, Catholic Men's Conference. And I'm I'm glad to save this one for last because, of course, you know, priests stand in the person of Christ in confession, in mass, and so forth. And I think it's very appropriate as we talk about the shepherd and the sheep that we have a priest from an abbey as our final interview. So let's go straight to Father Anthony of St. Benedict's Abbey from the Catholic Men's Conference of 2024. Okay, we're at the Catholic Men's Conference and I'm with Father Anthony Kloss of St. Benedict Abbey. Tell us about St. Benedict Abbey. Well, St. Benedict Abbey, we, we are in the, the town of Harvard uh, and we are a Benedictine house. There's 10 of us that are monks. That, uh, we, well, we have, we have two that are in, in formation right now, becoming monks. Uh, and our work as St. Benedict spoke about prayer, that the, the prayer is the, is the work of God for a monk. And we and uh, our, our prayer our day is revolves around our prayer. So we are the first thing we, we, we get up uh, and as soon as we, we can, we, we, we begin our prayer at, uh, at six is our first prayer. And, uh, and then throughout the day, uh, I, I'm actually the, the, the cook at the monastery. Uh, my job is to, to uh, keep everyone uh, fed and, and, uh, and, uh, and I, uh, so I have to make sure that we have the, the gross, groceries to do it. Now in a Benedictine Abbey, work is a big part of us, so everyone sure. has everyone tasks has a, to, everyone tasks has to a go job. on. Everyone, you know, and so our beginners First work is, is going to be keeping things clean, and so so that, so that's what everyone starts at. That's it's their first assigned job uh, is to to be to, to keep the house of God prepared, and so. Um, but that, but then, our, as, as I said, our our, our prayer is, is our life, and Saint Benedict said it's the prayer of God. And, and uh, it's, it's our, our work. So we, when we, we're, we're busy uh, throughout, and our last our last prayer is at uh, nine o'clock. We have conference is our, our last prayer, and, uh, and then we we also we're not like uh, the, the the Trappist who, who uh, they they would keep silence. Uh, we have a particular. We, what we call it the the grand silence. So from from uh, the end of Compline until and then through the night, and then uh, after mass in the morning, uh, then then we, we we 
can again be speaking. Now you're a priest, but most of the monks are not priests. So there, how many priests do you have in the? Well, we have well, there. There are five of us that are priests, ah, and then that, and then there's there's five that are. That's uh, actually a, a high proportion for a monastery, from what that, I understand. That might be. It might be. It, it depends on, on on the order and the house. Each each house is especially with the with the Benedictines. Each house is autonomous. And so, then, and that means that each each house is to take care of all their own needs. Now, I've got to ask you this question because I'm I'm a person who goes to confession, and I know the sins that are an issue. Now, obviously, your monks go to the confession. Now, if you're in prayer all day, and you're in work, and the sins that you're confessing must be very deep. So, so to speak, in the fact that you're noticing the small imperfections that some of us probably don't even notice in ourselves because there's so much prayer and reflection. That's true. When we fail, uh, uh, it's, it's usually with community. It's you know, and it, to to live. So we we need to to live a life of, of fraternal charity. And if people want to find out more about St. Benedict's Abbey, where can they go online? You can go to abbey.org. We'll, we'll get you to our, our website. All right. Well, Father Klaus, thank you so much for your time. And I, I take it you take doing a confessions here. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, so you're good probably, good. probably very big. 800 people getting confessions. Probably not we'll the be best day for the devil. That's <laughs> right. That's right. We're, 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 we're going to be at work in a, in a short time. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. God bless you. God bless. And that was Father Anthony of St. Benedict's Abbey. Now let's get to prayer requests. And a reminder again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for, just go to the prayer wall at wqphradio.org. Post the prayer request. Fill in the little thing that comes in. And then get your confirmation code and then submit your prayers. Again, we do that because we don't want spam. If you've ever gone to some sites on some websites you'll see postings you know do this earn money do this earn money and those are bots and we do our confirmation thing to get rid of the bots so send us your prayer intentions we have some special attentions we're going to pray for the father of my friend Vinny, who recently died at the age of 95. we're going to pray for the father of our engineer who also recently died we have a lady who has issues with cancer. We have a person who's dealing with MS. We have a person who's bereft of the prayer that I want to also offer for. I have a person who's been ill. I want to pray for their person with cancer. We had a person who was entertaining suicidal thoughts. A prayer for that. We have pray for the two Mary Anns. We pray for our standing prayers of uh, Jake, of uh, Mary, and of uh, Nancy. The intentions of the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia. The donors to WQPH. And all the priests and deacons of the area. And also to a couple who was having some financial issues. And I'm going to ask for prayers for my own private prayer intentions. That for some things I'm dealing with. So those are our prayer requests today. And as it's the Easter season. And as Ascension Thursday is getting close. We're going to pray the second glorious mystery which is the ascension and you know with ascensions thursday closing in and, uh, and of course we're one of the few areas in the country that have ascension thursday on thursday which is always a good thing let's begin our prayers as we pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the second glorious mystery is the ascension we offer the lord jesus the 17th decade and all that glorious ascension into heaven and we ask of thee through this mystery and through the intercession of thy Holy Mother, an ardent desire for heaven, our true home. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. God be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Ye all souls of heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. May the grace and mystery of the ascension come down to our souls. Amen. Now for those of you praying the indulgence calendar, here's the uh, prayers for the indulgence calendar offered for the intentions of the Holy Father. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and stands of the devil. May God rebuke and we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. And we ask this as we ask everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Now, you might notice I was a little slower than normal tonight. That's because I'm recording this very late at night. I'm, I did a 10-hour shift today. I've been very busy the last couple of days, and I'm, I'm very, very tired. But I think that's a good thing because I think it's important for you to know that when I'm praying for you here on your prayer intentions, that I'm actually praying for you. You're not getting a canned prayer. You're not getting a recorded prayer. You're not getting a cut and pasted prayer. You're getting me praying for you as the show is recorded. Now, there's nothing wrong with following along with a recorded prayer. I have an old CD of uh, St. John Paul II doing the rosary, and I'll occasionally at work pray along with it. Nothing wrong with that. But I think it's important when I'm giving intentions for you to know that you're getting actual prayers for these intentions, prayers specifically for those intentions. Never think that we're not thinking of you here. We are very happy to pray for your prayer intentions. We're very happy to receive them. We're very happy to pray for them. And now let's do our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. 
O God of mercy, as we reach out to those seeking you, send forth your Holy Spirit upon this show, this station, all the stations that carry this show, and all those who are listening to renew us in faith. Enable us to share the good news of the gospel with loving words and caring deeds so that those who have drifted away may be drawn to your church and follow the way of your son Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the light. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we pray this as we pray all things. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I want to close by reminding you all that we're in the Easter season, which is a season of celebration within the church. We celebrate the resurrection of Christ and the payment for our sins. We are getting closer and closer to the Pentecost, which is considered the birthday of the church, when the Holy Spirit comes down upon us. This is a great season and a great time to find a, a moment to go down to adoration, to go down to a daily mass, to visit a shrine, to do these things. Do not forget God in the things you do. Because God is not going to forget you. Do not forget God in all that you do. Well, that's about all the time we have. So I want to thank you all for joining us for this week's Your Prayer Intentions. We'll be back next week with more prayer, with more gospel, with more thoughts. As we pray for your prayer intentions one more time, you can post your prayer intentions at wqphradio.org slash prayer wall or email us at wqph893 at comcast.net. That's wqph893 at comcast.net. Till next week, goodbye all, and God bless you all. Take care. On the WQPH 89.3 FM community calendar, there will be a talk on the Holy Face Devotion in Lemonster, Massachusetts, Saturday, April 27th, after the 9 a.m. Mass at St. Cecilia's Church, 180 Mechanic Street in Lemonster, Massachusetts. It's going to feature several of the Holy Relics, including the Holy Face Relic from 1895, Touched to the Veil of Veronica, the Lance and the True Cross, a first-class relic of the Crown of Thorns, a relic of the BVM Veil, the Relic of St. Joseph's Cloak, and a first-class relic of Padre Pio, among others. The talk will be given by the same gentleman who did the talk at the WQPH a Shrove Tuesday Breakfast, that's Micro Petrich, who can be reached at holyface.newhampshire at gmail.com if you have any questions. Again, that's Saturday, April 27th, after the 9 a.m. Mass at St. Cecilia's Church, 180 Mechanic Street, Lemonster, a talk on the Holy Face Devotion. This has been the WQPH 89.3 FM Community Calendar. All right, we're at the Catholic Men's Conference, and I'm speaking with Rosalie Burquist from Massachusetts Citizens for Life. Tell me about the good works that Massachusetts Citizens for Life do. Well, we have a number of things coming up. You know, we are primarily interested in education, but also influencing legislation and letting people know what's out there as far as the laws that may be coming up that would impact life issues. All of the things that I mentioned you can go on the website to find out more information about them. We have a Mother's Day dinner coming up. An internationally known speaker, Stephen Mosher from the Population Research Institute, is going to be the speaker. Excellent. You don't have to deal with a line at a restaurant there for Mother's Day. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be at the Springfield Hotel website. Find out information there. We have also formed an alliance with a pregnancy care partnership because, of course, they're being attacked by the Board of Health in the state, threatened because, of course, they don't do abortions. And so it's because you've got a lot of politicians who get money from the pro-abortion industry, so they're afraid the life saved costs them a dollar. Well, true, true. So we were able to put together those people 
And we have some wonderful testimony from the young women who have been assisted in keeping their child. So many of these sites have volunteers, so they don't get government money to do that. The other thing that we can offer is if somebody would like a speaker for their parish or in their community, we can provide somebody who would come out and talk about the issues that they might be interested in. I might have to keep that in mind. Of course, you can go to the website, masscitizensforlife.org. There's some wonderful information there. We try to do what we can to educate people. And that really must be the tough thing because in a state like this, there's so much information that does not get out because the other side does not want that information out. So you can't change a state until people understand what's at stake. We're working at a grassroots level, basically, and we're at least getting out there and doing things. One of the other things that we have recently done is information about abortion pill reversal. We produced a document that is completely scientific, and we're trying to get that out to medical professionals because doctors are getting a message that this doesn't work. Well, it does work. And when you have the scientific evidence to back it up, this is really important. And you're not just saving the life of the child, which is, of course, very important, but you're saving the psyche and the soul of all the people involved. Definitely, definitely. Um, So many women have been pleased with the help that they have received through these centers from the information that we try to get out there. And Rosalie, one more time, can you give me that website? It's masscitizensforlife.org, M-A-S-S, citizen, C-I-T-I-Z-E-N, for life, L-I-F-E, dot org. Rosalie Berquist, thank you so much for your time, and I hope this is a successful men's conference for you. Thank you so much for the opportunity to speak. This is Peter and Jimmy, host of Your Prayer Intentions, every Saturday here on 89.3 WQPH Shirley Fitchburg. Do you have a prayer request that you'd like me to pray for, or perhaps the whole community? Well, include that prayer request in an email. Specify if you want it on air or off, and email that prayer request to WQPH. 893 at comcast.net let me repeat that it's wqph893 at comcast.net and we will pray for you if you have an urgent request that you're looking for immediate prayer tweet me directly at the tech guy blog on twitter or the tech guy blog on gab and as soon as i see it i will pray for you god bless you